Hey everybody, my name is Kenan, and welcome back for the video of Humankind. We're continuing this series, boys, having a lot of fun playing this game uh, for you. Uh, we, last video, we did a lot, so if you missed it, uh, go ahead and watch it before this one, because we basically ended up um, uncovering a bunch of different islands, uh, a new continent over here in the east, which we're starting to uncover uh, a little bit more of. And over here, we're just gonna get our, we're actually gonna get our first outpost in this video, first outpost into a different continent, which is right here. So that's gonna be fantastic, it's gonna be great. Uh, we're also working on all of our cities like the usual. We uh, uncovered a way over here, new ability to merge two cities together. But in order to do that, we would need a lot of influence and it is not something I can do or uh, I have right now. So uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I signed my mods that I can actually up my influence as well as the money. Uh, in order to do that, I am going to need a I lot of stuff. Sake, we just uncovered another civilization. The last thing you want is to be their prisoner of war. So they're going, for, uh, coming from that direction. Interesting. Okay, all right. Uh, where do we want that outpost to be over here? They actually are, uh, want us to put uh, that outpost right here. All right, then. Put that outpost right here, boys. So we got our an outpost, ourselves an outpost right here. Boom. Build that. An extra era star. Build another one right here. Or some more horse resources. And build some arbors. Build one. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And uh, I guess, yeah. Continue to build on these resources and all. Okay, good. So this is actually not... It doesn't really count as a different continent to me. Never mind. It's more of an island. A separate island. This would be the continent right here. Yeah, this is just a, a separate island. And since this is a separate island, I kind of want to uh, s attach it to Nock, really. That would be the best of options, really, uh, in my opinion. So I think that might be what I end up doing. Over here, what do we want to do next? Uh, we uh, got to create an outpost, so we have to do that. We cannot do it, though, because we don't have enough influence. So we're just going to skip ahead a little bit. Continue to explore while we're at it. Uh, the lands. There we go. We're just going to continue to explore the lands. Over here for my fleet. Uh, we are going to just continue to go... We're going to go around. There we go. And continue to see the shores. So, and so this is a really big continent right here. A really big one. Uh, that's uh, for sure. So where, what do I, uh, where do we do with this? We've got my army right here, right? And this army, this other full army that I've got, I want to send them over there. Uh, now that we know this is just an island, we want to go shore to shore. We're going to stick to the shore, so we, we don't want to go into the main sea. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to keep moving for now. We're going to keep moving along the roads, but we're going to uh, go across the sea uh, shores right here and move across here. Uh, this uh, unit. These are just a bunch of clan leaders. Interesting. So, um, I'm guessing these were Celts before and they decided to become um, Aztecs. This is by far the second strongest civilization after me. So we gotta uh, watch out for them. These might be unfriendly boys. So, might have our first wars against these guys. So, if we interact with them really quick, let's see. I'm gonna introduce myself. There we go. Let's introduce ourselves to him. Welcomes. I am the leader of a great people. I hope you are one who keeps their word. Come, relax. Let us speak honestly. Okay. It is kind of fitting as well. Even though it's reverse, the reverse role. It's kind of fitting that the Aztecs uncovered us because we are the Spanish. So it's kind of uh, fitting a little bit, boys. It makes a little bit of sense. I don't actually know if I want to do open borders with them just yet. They are my main competition. They're militarist people as well. So they're definitely all about war. Uh, Non-aggression pack. Let's do the open borders. We're going to accept that it seems Things like. Change. Yes. Uh, if we give life. them money, they'll accept. All right. There we go. So we've got open friend. borders with them. With all that extra influence I'm going to have. Which I don't know why they're telling me I got to interact with him. Or, okay. There we go. With all that extra influence I'm going to get next turn. I'm going to be able to create an outpost. That outpost, I'm going to be able to do something with it. Connect it to knock, basically. And that's going to be great. Uh, for the next part, let's just see really quick. So, uh, existential uh, chasm. 
So we've got this new Civic that we can choose as well. All right, so yeah, like I was saying, as we are gonna end this turn, uh, and we enter a turn to uh, 65, we got heavy, heavy infantry done, good. And we got a new wonder as well, good. And now we got Kerma and we got a new religion. All right, good. And uh, I guess what we can do with that is we can now upgrade our swordsmen into those heavy uh, swordsmen and stuff, right? These uh, great swordsmen. There we go. So they're upgraded. They've been upgraded. They're now great swordsmen. Uh, really like to see that, boys. That's a really good army now. We've got some crossbowmen and great swordsmen on the uh, on the on the board. Uh, we're gonna start moving them towards the uh, the sea. Starting to lag a little bit more the game now. I don't know why. It's having a bit of a tougher time, I guess. And also, okay, so now that we've got that, we've got plenty of resources. I still don't have enough for the influence. Interesting. All right, so I managed to equip the mod with the influence. So now we've got actual influence that we can use, uh, which that means uh, we could uh, evolve this into a city. Now, do I want to evolve this one into a city? I'm not too sure yet. Uh, the thing is, it's an island. So I think I might not want to do that. I'm going to keep this outpost and possibly create an actual city over here instead. That would be the way to go, boys. So uh, we're actually going to keep exploring right here. We're going to keep exploring and go along the... Actually, we need to explore the, the north a little bit further. Because I'm not, I'm unsure what to think of this right here. Also, what we want to do right here, definitely create an outpost somewhere around these shores. Create a, an outpost right here, which is going to become my first city into this new uh, place. They forgave a grievance. They stole my natural wonder. Okay, interesting. But they they forgave me, so that's good because we're pretty friendly with each other. There we go. All right, so I'm definitely going to evolve this one into a city. I'm evolving this um, this outpost into a city big time. Boom, boys. Fifth, uh, sixth a city. So a sixth city right here. Era star completed, and we can now enter the next era. Look at that. We're maxed out in eras. Era stars. That's really good. So we can actually enter the next era uh, in this video. Uh, let's get ourselves uh, a cathedral right here, I guess. Why not? Build a cathedral. There we go. Uh, we are going to need a garrison. But first off, we need to build the school. Let's quickly build the school and all that good stuff. There we go. And also, uh, we need a garrison. The garrison, they're telling me to put it... Let's put it right here. Let's put the garrison right here. We're going to build uh, quickly build it. There we go. And uh, now all of that is done. Balance policy. We want uh, city growth. City growth all across the board. Thank you very much. So food, uh, science. We're going to go for science right here. And uh, uh, okay, so this is all equipped pretty well. But this is going to be fun because we get to uh, enter a new uh, place, boys. Okay, fort. Definitely going to get yourself a fort. Okay, so that's really cool. That's I like to see that. Next up, though, what do we want to go for? Uh, Corman Squadron would be the way to go. Like always, well, we, uh, we're making enough influence. Let's make some uh, some science. I feel like uh, science is the way to go right now. So let's put some science across the board right here. Let's put one uh, right here. It's going to take one turn to do that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. So we got our first city to the continent, boys. First city right here. With the influence, what I can do now is actually connect cities together. I can actually start doing that. Which would be very good indeed. Uh, we've got a tenet. We've got enough uh, that we can go into the fourth uh, one right away. So uh, we can choose stability on all terrains, money, combat strength, or science. Sustain the, fa uh, so uh, the faithful boys. Let's do even more stability. Stability across the chart. And now we got all of them. All of our tenets are done. We are going to get two combined religions working against each other right here. Uh, this is going to go very well or very badly. We are obviously going to connect uh, two outposts. I think an outpost right here. Going to connect it to this one. Uh, that should be good in, the, in of its own. And aside from that, uh, now we've got plenty of civics that we can actually do, right? Choose uh, because of that. Uh, these guys want to talk to me. The Aztecs want to interact with me really quick. A proposal? They want a non-aggression pact. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that uh, by far. 
We can yeah, also do only trade luxuries. So we can propose to trade Royal luxuries. Friend. There we go. That's perfect. Sure, trade everything. Let's... Uh, I'm not going to propose that because that's going to waste a lot of uh, resources, uh, influence points. So I'm not going to do that. But uh, there it is, boys. So Columbia, Sally, I feel like I want the, uh, Tol uh, Toledo. I want it to... Uh, I want to absorb Columba Sale, boys. I want, I'm going to do that. It's going to absorb it. It's going to be the same. Let's absorb it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we absorbed it. Which basically counts as another outpost. And now look at that. Look how many populace we've got for Toledo. So Toledo, we're, we can get another stone rings, which we're going to get in these uh, regions for sure. These brand new regions. We're going to get re it like very close and do the woods right here. And we're going to spare like nearly 18 population right there. Boom. Done. We got the stone rings done. Uh, research quarter. We're still doing that. So that's fine on its own. Good. So yeah, we're doing really good. Uh, we don't need that much people into the food production. Let's just put uh, people into the science department a little bit right here. There's plenty of people on the food tile. So uh, yeah, we don't need that many right there. So let's put more into the science. Uh, we are going to need a new research really quick. But before that, it's because we've got Toledo now. So Toledo is uh, a really huge city now. Uh, we've got Napata. Napata in Audagas. I think I want to get Kerma. Napata, uh, I want it to uh, eat up Nock. So it's going to eat up Nock. So absorb it. Boom. All right. So Napata has just absorbed Nock, which is a huge city in of itself. It's got now 42 population out of 70. Now we are talking. And look at that. Oof. Zero stability, boys. Zero stability for this shit. Uh, we need to start. We're maxed out in food production and everything. Napata is so big that I cannot even contain. Like, I can't contain it. I cannot contain it whatsoever. We are going to need some help right here. Zero. Uh, it's going up to zero. It's going down big time. This is not not good too much, boys. Not really good. Uh, this is pretty bad. So Nepal is very huge indeed. So I don't know what to do with this. This is going to be a hard one. It's going to be a hard uh, a hard one for sure. Uh, this one, I'm going to I'm gonna cancel it really quick. I don't know why it was going for that. The influence is going to be hard to interact with or to, to deal with. Uh, Kerma, you are going to get... You're my very first city. You're my actual capital. Uh, you're going to get... Uh, you're going to absorb Aldegast. Big time. Boom. Uh, you are going to get rid of. All right. Here we go, boys. So, Aldegast. Now, it's the same problem over here. Same problem over here. It's got so many populace. 42 out of 70. 72 that is uh it's hard right so we've got so many stuff going on right here uh i'm not too sure where i want to where i want my ships to go i think i want my my units to spawn right here for this one for napada i definitely want my ships to spawn over here and for toledo toledo want my ships to spawn right there all right good so i officially have only three cities left Two of them are not doing too good, boys. Napata and Kurma are struggling big time in terms of uh, of stability. We'll see how it goes for them, but uh, I got a bad feeling about this. I really, ha I really do, boys. They have so many populace that it's gonna be hard to control those. Uh, we do need a new research. Uh, I, I guess we can go for chivalry. We'll go for chivalry right here. But it's really fun to be able now with the mods and stuff, the influence mods as well. To be able to evolve this city together, like get more cities quickly, rapidly. So it's really fun to do that. We're going to get some multiple outposts as well. Uh, definitely going to get a city over here. So we're going to work, start working on that. Let's see really quick. Uh, we do need to change uh, uh, basically our uh, next era. So let's change our new culture. So the Persians, uh, uh, we are Spanish right now, of course. We're uh, coming into the industrial era. Can breed the Persians once again. The Persians are going to give us money. I want something that's going to give me a lot of influence. But a lot of stability as well right now. Austro-Hungarians. Uh, really good. We've got some agents. So spies and stuff. We've got the British. British is a lot of money. Uh, French. Kind of stability. Exhibition halls and stuff. But uh, lots of science. Germans. The Italians. 
Oh, I'm going for the Italians. Look at the stability and all. Yeah, we uh, we need the Italians, boys. It seems like this is the best case. The Siamese, the Zulu. Yeah, uh, I'm going for I'm going for the Italians. The Italians are the way to go, boys, right here. And look at that. We get Alpini as well, which are a lot of strength, and we're gonna get guns with them as well. We already had possible guns, but uh, we couldn't. Uh, we didn't unlock these units just yet. So, Italians confirm. We are now Italians, boys. Great, and we're entering the industrial era now. So we entered it. As soon as we tur uh, do tur uh, next turn, boys, we're gonna have a cinematic, of course, for the industrial era. I just want to make sure that everything's fine on our side. I feel like it is. So we now are gonna become Italians instead of Spanish. We're still uh, keeping the same uh, family branch of um, of language, I guess. Oh, I forgot. I do need to move my fleet right here. Uh, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it moving. I want to explore even more. I want to see uh, what's waiting for us. This is a really huge. Yeah, this is a really huge one. Even, I think it's as big or if not bigger than the my continent, my current continent, boys. And we've got some people we could possibly conquer over here if we wanted to, but they're very far away. We're not going to worry about them. These guys seems like they have the entire uh, thing up to them. If I can just manage to get an outpost quickly there, secure this little land that I don't have. I'm not going to go in here and mess with them, but if I can manage to do that, you know, that would be good. I can also do the expansionist thing. We'll see though, boys. The world gets larger, the cities expand, buildings reach higher and roads stretch longer. And yet, the world gets smaller as bridges unite land. Towns congest and railroads bring distant goods to the doorstep. Anything seems possible in this wondrous future. Though as humankind grows, the planet itself appears to shrink. Even centuries after the Renaissance, Italy remains a hotbed of painting, culture, ideas, and short tempers. Really short tempers, boys. That I can, uh, I can definitely uh, say uh, say that it is it is true. All right, so uh, we're gonna I re-equip the mods, boys. So for the money, so now we can build a theater. We can build it a cr uh, very far away uh, in multiple places. Look at that. Look how many places we can build that. Uh, let's build it right here. Build a theater right here. I'm gonna build as many as I can, boys, because it's really important for us to to get that stability up. So this is giving us a lot of stability. These theaters, they're really giving us a lot of stability. Look at that. And I can, since I've basically absorbed another city with this one, uh, it's really giving us a lot. All right, so it's done, boys. So let's go ahead and re-equip again. Uh, we've got uh, all these 9K, boys. It, it is literally... I should probably spend some population e uh, even for that. But now we've got all the theaters in the world. Our, our growth is going up, or it's doing better. It's definitely doing better than it was, that's for sure. Uh, and now, though, we definitely want to work on... I'm actually going to start uh, working on the food. Uh, some food tiles and we're gonna get uh, some right here and I cannot spend anything Okay, so we're just gonna do the food or now that I think about it not the food because what we need most right now Is games we need games boys and let's spend 12 population for the game. There we go much better now much better because just since uh, uh, And we're gonna keep working on those those games boys uh, that's much better now, boys. Okay, so let's drop about 10 of those in here. 10 into, uh, 10 into food, 10 into the science, and 10 into the industry. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to keep working on these uh, games over here. It's going to be very important. Uh, it's not... Uh, it, uh, it gets rid of the... Um, this whole thing gets rid, basically, of the... Um, uh, of the problem that we've got right now. So get rid of the populist really quick. There we go. So that uh, ups it up a notch for us as well. We're going to keep working on the uh, on these theaters. So get a theater right here. Get another one, I guess, uh, right here. Get a theater right here. Boom. Let's uh, continue to work on these theaters. Get another one right here. There we go. And uh, I guess the other theater. Okay, there we go. It's done, boys. So... Another theater right here. We need another one uh, right here, I guess. It's 
continue to build those boys. And we're going to get one right here. Two theaters right side by side, I guess. Where else do you want me to put it? Uh, right here? Okay, let's put the theater right here. Why not? These are costing a lot, boys. Costing a lot of money and resources. But, hey, if it's worth it, it's worth it. That's for sure. So let's keep working on them. It's now 10k to build some. Alright, there we go. We got all of them that we needed. We got uh, every single one of those that we needed. So, uh, let's get uh, put some people into the science really quick. There we go. Just put uh, a bunch of people into science. We got four. Uh, we need five of each. So, six, six, and five. There we go. Next up, what do we want to work on? Stability for sure. So, get the stability done. Uh, work on games for sure right here. That's going to help out. Unless we want to work on the common squatter, which we might uh, end up doing. So we're going to work on that. Common squatter, boys. All right. So that is completed. That is quite a good amount of uh, theaters that we've just uh, gotten for Kerma and Nepada. Uh, that's a crazy amount right there, boys. Just in order for us to, to prevent them from basically falling apart and stuff, right? The city is falling apart. So uh, we did quite a lot right there. We had to do quite a lot. All right, so you, buddy, now don't I don't want to evolve you to city, so we're gonna keep exploring right here. Just uh, go to the shores. There we go. We also want to uh, there we go upgrade these two units into great swordsmen. Okay, and uh, for the next part, we have over here our city right right here right our third city. Uh, we want to keep exploring here. Although they just gained an outpost right here though, I got a grievance against them. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go towards this place of course because I originally wanted obviously to Originally I wanted to to gain this place for myself. I wanted to get an outpost I cannot let them get an outpost right here. Otherwise, I'm kind of stuck. I could get an outpost right here, but uh, Let me see real quick. We do have um, We do have this thing right do? this uh, a Crisis a claim territory on our border Hell you purchased uh, mercury, okay? Wait, they, they refused? I commend your decisions. They yielded? Oh, okay, they uh, they accepted. Okay, so there we go. I was uh, I was wondering if they accepted or not. Now, it bring a little bit of war support on their side against us. But uh, what are they going to do? If they declare war on me, it's going to be bad for them. So they I don't think they want to do that. Uh, they did... Uh, 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 they did... Uh, apply uh, uh, they did yield which means that outpost it belongs to us now which means that in two turns it's going to be completed so we can't have it yet but uh we're working very well uh towards it we're gonna put a uh, science guy into uh, a, a fifth science guy and we also need to oh yeah we need to start working on these theaters over here as well yeah let's get some theaters oh we can get multiple ones right here yes as well yeah so we need to keep working on these theaters. These are the biggest thing in the world right now. There we go. We got all three of them. That's perfect. Since we got all three of them. And um, I guess science is a way to go. Science would be a way to go. It's actually higher than uh, the influence. So yeah, let's let's work on the science. Let's put a, a science department right here. All right, that's, that's done. Now it's completed. My ships I'm just going to keep moving. Keep exploring the, the shores right here. With this guy, we already have one era star, and uh, for the next one, we need some couple more districts, which is not going to be hard to do. Iestet, what does that mean exactly? What does that do? Bring one of your empire's territories back into its sphere of influence and gain influence of each adjacent territory. What does that do exactly? How do I do that? Convert? Oh, I can convert them and in, in, in all. Can I convert this city? Oh, there we go. So I did it, boys. All right, I think I did it. I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I converted this city, uh, basically. So now it's converted and all. Okay, interesting. Uh, eventually, what I'm going to do with this army, I'm going to send it back, though, because I'm going to need it. The uh, need to uh, upgrade these swordsmen. But once that is done, I'm going to send them towards these. We're going to explore the entire land and actually do the thing that I think I could have done. Maybe I can't do it anymore. I'm not too sure, but I feel like I had the ability, right, to um, to basically uh, take some, like uh, annex people and stuff like that. So Toledo gained some population, extra to population. There we go. Uh, let me just see real quick, Toledo. You've got all of this for you. 
We've got some extra populace right here. Let's just get you uh, five, five guys into the industry. All right, that is good. Uh, that's perfect as it is. We've got a new civic uh, available as well. Oh, the civics I forgot as well. I need to uh, to choose the civics while I, get, I have the chance. I need to do that. So we should definitely do that. Let's, uh, uh, you buddy, you're just gonna move up a tile just because I need to upgrade uh, uh, upgrade these two really quick. Okay, so now that is completed. And we're also gonna need uh, an outpost right here. We're gonna get the outpost right here uh, in the next turn. We're gonna need another one right here. It's at least two outposts per city for me, boys. Two outposts per city and then uh, you create another city. So, yeah, but I want to I wanna explore first. We're, we're going to explore a little bit further first. Yeah, we're going to explore the uh, different lands and all. And all. Nepada, you gain some extra populace right here. So you got, uh, you're at eight now. Let's put you at uh, nine for the food. All right, that's perfect. All right, that's fine. We're really moving down in terms of uh, stability, though. It's really bad, boys. Really bad. I don't know what to do about that. 31 of Populous. This why it's kind of... It's doing fine now. This guy is, is doing fine. Uh, we're going to put some into the money now. Yeah, uh, Kerma is doing fine. It could be doing better, though. But uh, I'm kind of worried a little bit, boys. I'm not going to lie. I am worried. Uh, yeah, you are going to continue going to the following the shores a little bit and uh i need to start really getting uh, myself uh, uh towards these places get an outpost as quick as possible towards these regions uncover these lands boys we've got last but not least my fleet right here we need to move there we go i think that's their capital actually yes yeah, so we've got we have uncovered the actual we've al already knew about it but that's the uh, we uncovered most of the lands right here, so the capital, there's their capital at, uh, of them, I guess. I could easily attack them, boys, and beat them up, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to be friendly. I want to win via a cultural win. I want to have a cultural win, not a, a military one. So, alright, so that is completed. Now we can look into the civics. That is one thing that I want to do, because I got the, the stuff. Let's first off do political entitlement. So we can do Aristocracy Republic. Republic gives us plus three combat strength from Militia. And Aristocracy gives us plus one combat strength and uh, on emblematic units, which I don't know what that means. Uh, we're How gonna do Republic, there we go. a leader whose primary concern is their family, not their people. Okay, and uh, scientific facts. Let's take a look at that. So there we go, Contabilism or Literalism. Uh, so we can either get plus one science or only science or plus one science or research quarters faith instabilities We're gonna get literalism Right there. So what is written is the pure truth regardless of what science says The holy words need to be taken literally only their spirit is intended. Uh, no, I need to uh, do literalism I warn you There we go. This solution is not as simple as it seems people can argue about anything Oh, I know they can argue about anything, but uh, they won't be able to do it for too long. So we got literalism, boys. That is completed. So that is a thing that uh, we have right now. So two new civics. Okay, and that is uh, replace the current state religion with atheism. Lose the ability to build holy sites and all that good stuff. State atheism is literally what Quebec is all about, boys. We have state atheism. Which means that we, uh, the state itself is separate from the religion. So it's two separate entities. All, uh, secularism is another step further than that. It's entirely getting rid of the religion altogether. All religions are getting rid of. State atheism is just separating the religions from the state. I feel like I don't really like state atheism. I, I, I prefer secularism. I, I'm going to go for secularism, boys. This looks boys. lovely on paper. Let's see how it goes in practice. I guess we'll see how it goes in practice. We'll see, boys. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. And uh, next turn, I guess we're going to have uh, the chivalry done. Good. Uh, so we want to keep exploring this guy. We're going to follow the roads. Why is he not following the road when I want him to? Okay. You know, he doesn't want to follow the road. That's fine by me. Just go towards there and explore a little bit more. A little bit further right here. 
And that's pretty much it. So we're going to end the turn right here, boys. We did a lot today. Entered the industrial era. Well above everybody else. And um, we uh, have our first city into the new continent. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And enjoy. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.